There is obviously a lot more that needs to be said about this. We need to make sure that we understand what exactly screenplay represents, what it was able to do for us, how it should be remembered, and exactly what should be the steps going forward. Obviously, that is all important, and we can take care of that over the coming days and maybe even a couple of weeks. But uh, that's all coming ahead, and we need to just uh, remember that screenplay should be remembered as a very worthwhile and uh, convincing experiment even though it's been cut down even before it really got into its own stride because it takes a couple of years of a TV show to actually figure itself out, get its own voice, get some momentum behind it and actually build up a very large popular audience and then start experimenting with content, finding the right grooves and the right techniques and actually getting into a more, getting through the production a lot faster because you know it, you're more comfortable with it and so it tends to take one or two years before a TV show can really start to turn it on and become the po most popular show that it could be. And so screenplay has been killed off only one year into its production before it got into its real highest speed. By the end, it started to get up there, maybe into the 70% or the 80% of speed, but it still had a long way to go before it could, be, could have become its full uh, screenplay potential. To actually realise its potential and become the best show it could be was not there. It did not realise itself, even though it had a goal in mind, even though it had a clear uh, understanding of its agenda, even though it obviously had an honest willingness to experiment and understand and learn and grow and try things. So despite its best efforts, despite its willingness to try things and grow and uh, evolve over time and becoming better with improvements and understanding, uh, greater understanding of the situation, uh, despite an, un uh, an awareness that uh, TV shows will often um, just organically need this. So even if you're not self-conscious of this, even on a subconscious level, even on a, a human level, of a human behaviour level, it's the case that often it would take two years for a show to reach its peak. So on that mark, you'd have to say that we can't ever judge screenplay on everything that it has done, uh, because uh, the best things that screenplay could have done will never happen and can't happen because it's been stopped before it will happen. And so screenplay was the great potential that was cut down before it reached its peak. It's not a show that was cut down in its peak and it's not a show that was cut down after its peak. It was before its peak. It, we did not see the full screenplay. We did not get a chance to experience everything that screenplay has to offer us. Instead, we have great potential, good organisation, good discussion, good gameplay, good reviews, and good news delivery content, all that was uh, well-structured, well-designed, very entertaining, very funny throughout, but did not reach that golden peak of potential. And so I have to say that uh, as far as what has existed, as far as what has been produced over this last year, it has been very much worth the effort. Nick, Steph and Miles should be very pleased and the people behind the screen, especially Will and Pete, should all be very happy with what they've done. They have produced a year's worth of television content that has been wonderfully entertaining, wonderfully informative, and to a certain extent carried the torch of Good Game Pocket that was left over. Uh, certainly Screenplay never reached what Good Game Pocket had, but that is mostly because it was only one year when Pocket had two. So Nick, Steph, Miles, Pete and uh, Will all deserve huge congratulations for all the work they've done over the past year and we just have to hope that they're able to find uh, new jobs uh, in the coming uh, 6 to 12 months so that we can see maybe another show that comes up that takes screenplay and pockets place and we continue to see Australian television 
Australian video game news, discussion, let's play, uh, and reviews on some sort of audiovisual platform.